Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today's video is going to be about this week's update to Signal the Signalis Multiplayer Mod, or CityMP. For those who aren't aware, the Signalis Multiplayer Mod is a project that is trying to make Signalis, a indie horror game that is only single player, into a multiplayer, at least co-op experience. We've had varying success so far in our adventures, but we are actually a pre decent way through and you can actually play a demo or you know a test build of this concept that should hopefully be linked in the description below. The focus for today's video is going to be what has been accomplished over the last week through testing and through updates and then finally we're going to finish the video off with the plans for the future. So with no further delay let's just get right into this. Apologies ahead of time if I seem a little distanged or tired this week. This is week. I'm very tired this week. Um, a lot of work to complete this project. Um, but I'm going to try to make it a consistent weekly series. I understand that good communication really helps keep a project afloat. The focus for this week was to try and add the second act of the game, this being LOV, into the build. So prior, last week, you can only play through the Penrose. Once you got out of Penhole, you know, you grab the book, uh, you would hard crash and you couldn't really get any further than that. And even if you did get further than that, there was no logic to handle anything further than that. So one of the first fix that we actually got pretty early in the week was we fixed the crashing when you switch scenes. That's now completely fixed, so you don't have to worry about that. And we also stabilized a lot of the logic regarding the setup of Ellie. So a lot of those crashes that you may have been experiencing if you just try loading in, there is a random chance that Ellie just would not establish properly. There are now proper fixes to try and stabilize that experience. There are still sometimes odd bugs though, so we still have a bit of work on that regard. But if you're able to connect and you're able to play, you can now play straight through the Penrose and into LOV. And actually all the way up to the first save point in the game, which is, you know, it's a lot of progress. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's definitely a lot from our perspective. It's 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 been a long journey to get to this point. Um, in terms of LOV, what can you do? You can grab the key and the start of LOV. You can now grab the, um, the key that's behind the star, and you can grab the key that's inside the safe. We are still working on a couple other of the Boolean logics, but those are the main key items that you acquire throughout this act. So what is uh, the current like focus of testing? Well, we were trying to get to this point for a couple of reasons. We really wanted to see how things like cutscenes and uh, more broadly enemies really handled with the multiplayer system. And it's been a very interesting initial response. I'm actually going to play a clip very quickly of the first response we ever had to seeing enemies in the multiplayer mod. It's, yeah, it's fucking bulletproof! Why is it yeah. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Run, run, run. <laughs> Why is it invincible? But it's super hard, dude. <laughs> I think it's just tight as fucking flying. You're flying Oh everything. my god. <laughs> we gotta run the invincible Yule. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Literally immortal. So that clip really says a lot. Um, it, it's something that is definitely buggy, needs a lot of work, and it's not going to be a one-week kind of thing. It's not going to be a thing where I hit you up next Saturday. At least I don't think it will be. It might be. Um, but I, I don't think it's the type of thing I'm going to show up next Saturday like, hi, we've, we've finally finished enemies. We, everything is handled. So when it comes to moving into the future, there's the very short term. We need to stabilize some of the bullions, uh, particularly regarding the safe. There's been some weird bugs with that. I want to make sure that's really ironed out, probably going into the first half of next week. Um, and we also need to fix some things regarding the acquisition of the pistol and the firearm. And that's kind of important because you don't want one player getting the firearm and the other not. We also want to kind of clean up the, the inventory management system. While it is currently impossible to get six items in your inventory, we don't want it to ever be possible to accidentally uh, have your teammate pick up an item and then it lock you out. So those will be some of the more short-term things that at least I'll be trying to chip away at during the course of this week. But there are some kind of major things staring at us right now. Um, first is cutscenes. You have both the Isa cutscene and the Star cutscene. Do we want to handle that? How do we want to handle that? Is a major question that does need to be really answered. Um, I am of the opinion that cutscenes, if they play for one player, should probably play for all players. And that's primarily because if 
And a lot of terms of progression, lots of stuff in Signal is, is based off of cutscene progression. You need to do certain cutscenes um, in order to advance in the game. And I also feel like if it wasn't that way, you'd have some weird results at times where, you know, maybe your teammate went through this room, saw the cutscene earlier, and now you're seeing the cutscene. And I just feel like it would be a little bit odd. Um, I could be wrong. I do want. I'm gonna actually put this up to a po poll. Do we want cutscenes to be standardized or not? Um, and I'll let you all decide on that. But that brings us to our secondary question: What should be our main focus? We kind of have two options here. We can focus on the cutscenes and the bullions regarding them. You know, that would be maybe a one week experience. That would mean that maybe next Saturday, if not next Saturday, the following Saturday, um, I'm able to finish all the bullions in LOV. And we move on from LOV to the next scene, which is DET. And that would mean we get even further into the game that you can play with your duo. The, the downsides of that would be that you can play that far, but you're in this weird, super hard mode where enemies are, you know, an untouchable. Enemies are very, very difficult to handle. Um, you can't damage them. Uh, you kind of have to run away from them. And there's a bit of an appeal to that. But obviously that's not our angle. The alternative is we fix enemies. If we fix enemies, it's going to be possibly a three-week experience um it, it's gonna take a while and and that would mean there'd be no real updates from us for i mean we would definitely i'm definitely starting to come to you next saturday the following saturday and the third saturday to like show okay here's our progress on enemies or here's our progress on whatever we're working on but if we if we focus on enemies that really knows, means no updated build for y'all uh, until it's done really um, we might put out some builds with the stuff i mentioned earlier the stuff we want to get done in the meantime but it does mean it would take a while. And that also means that our entire progression through the game is going to slow down. Both options are valid. I don't, that's why I'm making this a y'all's option. It's not something that I can sit down and go, okay, I know what's going to work better because I don't, I don't know what's going to work better. Um, both need to be done eventually. Uh, the, the benefits of waiting for the enemies is we could work on the enemies slowly but surely over time and, you know, just kind of hammer out other updates in the meantime, see what I can slip in with the enemies. Um, the benefits of, of not doing the enemies, uh, of doing the enemies actually, you know, is if I hammer out the enemies, then it's done and dusted. You know, I have time to really focus and make sure that code is really rock solid because it's very important. But regardless, uh, it is going to be up to you all what you all would like us to work on next. Again, apologies for the state of this video. I just want to make sure we're continuing the communication line between us on the team who are working on this mod and y'all. Yeah. We greatly appreciate all the support that you all give for this mod and actually on this topic if you'd like to support me uh one of the main mod writers who you know who's really gonna be working these next couple of weeks on these things uh the people with city cord actually pressured me to open a ko-fi i'm not the most knowledgeable on how this stuff works and i understand that money is very tight for all of us in these times you know money is not something that comes across but if you'd like to offer support i'd greatly appreciate it um and it does help projects like this but don't feel pressured if you, if you don't have money do not jump to throw money at me. That's very bad. I, I, I would never want you all to do that. I, would, I, I prefer if you, the money stays in your pocket. But um, I greatly appreciate all of you for supporting this project. And I hope to see you all next week. Ciao.